Welcome to another episode of Grub Masters. My name is Chris Deary and this is John Deary. Today we're gonna do some Dutch oven lasagna. Very nice. I'm a big fan of lasagna, John. As am I. What are you gonna be cooking this lasagna in? We're gonna do this lasagna in the big boy, the 16 inch Dutch oven, because we're hungry. What are the main ingredients you're gonna be using in this bad boy? Okay, so actually we're gonna build the lasagna because we're gonna brown up some ground beef. Okay. Probably three pounds for something this size. All right. We're gonna brown up sausage. And then we're gonna chop up some pepperoni. So it's like three pounds, three pounds, three pounds. Okay, of meat. Okay. Then three for this size, regots. We're gonna season it up. Three eggs, one egg per container of regot. Love Adjust the accordingly. Love the okay? cheese. Okay, so we're gonna mix that up with some seasonings. We got some parsley, some Italian uh, seasonings. We have some garlic and some onion. Um, we have some sauce. And of course we have our noodles. Shall we start preparing? Yeah, let's get right into it. So the first thing right. we're gonna do is we're gonna build our cheese. So we're gonna open up a regat. We're gonna pop those in. So for this size Dutch oven, I'm gonna go with three of these regats. Get those right in the mixing bowl. Get every last bit, John. Every last bit. All right. So there's one. And again, we're just gonna repeat three times. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna eat some cheese. We're gonna actually take a handful of that cheese and throw it in here because, you know, I don't think regat is enough cheese. Let's throw a little, little mozzarella right in there, Chris. All right. Tell me when to stop, John. Stop. That's probably good. Now yeah. we're gonna reserve the rest for our topping. All right, so here's our last regat going in. This is a lot of regat but I like my lasagna cheesy. This lasagna is gonna be nothing like you buy in the stores because restaurants can't afford to make lasagna this good. I can't remember the last time I've ever had a lasagna with pepperoni, sausage, and beef, and it sounds outstanding. Now, let's take some grated Parmesan. Let's put that in there too. Ooh. So we've got basically three cheese Very lasagna. Nice. Very nice. All right, now we're gonna brown up our meat separate. We're gonna do that later. This is just the cheese, okay? So we're gonna take garlic, who doesn't love garlic? We'll put a little garlic sprinkle in there. A little onion powder. And, you know, Chris, you see me measuring a lot, right? Not really, John. No, not really. Because you've got it all fine-tuned. Put some parsley in there. We'll put a little Italian seasoning, because this is a little Italian lasagna. Maybe a little bit more. Okay. I'm gonna throw in a pinch of salt. I got some kosher salt here. Throw in a couple pinches of salt. Take our eggs, I'm gonna crack three eggs. This is gonna help it bind up. Now, this is basically the way my father made it. I don't really care if this is Italian lasagna or not. This is the way he made it, this is the way I like it. Okay, we call this uber lasagna. So now I'm just gonna mix this. I'm gonna incorporate in all these ingredients. And we're gonna make, basically make the cheese mortar for a lasagna. Looking good already. So we're gonna incorporate this, and then we're gonna prep our meat, and then we're gonna build the lasagna. Chris, I forgot the pepper, if you'd be so kind. Of course. I knew it didn't look quite right. Yeah. Nah, wrong one. Right to the port. Beautiful. So your lasagna's gotta have a little bit of bite to it. Again, this isn't the lasagna you're gonna find in the frozen food section. No. You know? And uh, you know, we're talking about this, we're cooking outdoors. You could prep a lot of this at home, put this in a Ziploc bag, and just bring it with you so you don't have to do this stuff out, out in the field. You can if you want to, of course. Right. But you don't have to. All right, so that's all prepped up. Let's move on to the pepperoni. Okay. All right, John, you said we're going to prep up this pepperoni. Let's see how you do it. Yeah, so the pepperoni, what I like is I like a nice little piece so you get it in every single bite. So we're just going to take this big stick of margarita pepperoni, use whatever pepperoni you like. to take that off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it in half first. And then I'm going to cut it 
like so. And I'm going to cut it again. So now I have quartered my pepperoni. Looks like I got my glove there. And then I'm just going to slice it into little bite-sized chunks. Just like that. We'll do it one more time in case you're sleeping. That last little piece, always trouble. Always trouble. All right, so we'll do it again with what's remaining. So this is about two pounds of pepperoni. I usually like to do the three, three, and three plan. Three pounds of uh, sausage, three pounds of ground beef, three pounds of pepperoni. I was able to find this nice big stick and I just fell in love with it. It's a little easier doing this one big stick than a bunch of little ones. Chris, taste one of these pepperonis. Let me know what you think. I was just about to do that. Mm. Mighty fine. All right, so that's it. We just ginsued all our pepperoni. Now we're gonna brown up our sausage and we're gonna brown up our ground beef and then we're gonna build the lasagna. Sounds good. All right. Next step, coming up. All right, so Chris, as you can see, our coals are pretty much ready here. Um, you know, there's quite a bit of ash on them now. They're really pretty uh, gray now. They're not that black and they are just ready to go. All right, wanna lay them out? Yeah, let's lay them out. So. I'm gonna take these, grab the bale, and I'm just gonna make a pile there. And you're gonna ring that up. Should I spread them out a little bit? Spread them out. All right. To a nice ring. Nice ring. All right, so we're adding a lot of heat down here because we're gonna brown some meat, so we want a lot of hot heat. How's that look, John? Perfect, looks great. All right, let's get that lid off. All right. Lid's off. And the lid holder right here. Right there. All right, let's get that beef in there. We'll just throw it all in at once. Make sure the pad doesn't go in with it. All right. And um, we're just gonna brown this meat now. So it's gonna take a few minutes for that to get up to temp, but I could actually already see a little steam flashing off this now. Doesn't take long. And we'll just watch that, we'll brown it up, we'll throw it off the side, we'll start the sausage. All right, well how many pounds of meat do you think you got there, John? That's probably about three pounds of meat. Three yeah. pounds, three pounds for this. Yeah, you know, what I did is I just kinda, I kind of conceptualized how much meat would kind of fill a layer there and look at that it's pretty good right so Perfect. same amount of sausage we got the pepperoni and uh, we're just gonna brown these up and build our lasagna very nice all right this is looking pretty good I think it's time to get these off we'll move this into the bowl and we'll start the sausage You know, Chris, an important thing that I want to get across to people is you don't have to do this out while you're camping. You would do this all ahead of time. You could have your brown beef ready to go in a cooler, in a Ziploc bag, and just ready to assemble your lasagna. So we're making this, you know, out here just to prove to everybody that we could do anything outside that we could do inside. I see you're using a slotted spoon there, John. Yeah. Just helping a little bit with the grease. We'll drain this grease off before we start the sausage. It just makes it nice and easy. Um, you know, the great thing about lasagna is once you brown up all the meat, the pepperoni's cooked, the cheese is basically cooked. You know, the only thing you have really in there is raw eggs, so you're just really heating it through. And this big Dutch oven makes easy, easy work of this.
All right, there's the ground beef. You know what? There's not a lot of grease in there. I'm just gonna throw that. Uh, I'm gonna throw that pork right in. All right, let's do it. All right, so here's our sausage. And it's just the same thing. I like to do them separate because the sausage takes just a little bit longer than the ground beef does. And this way we're not overloading the pot. All right. All right, this is looking pretty good, Chris. I think it's time to take it off and let's assemble our lasagna. Sounds good to me. Oh, this stuff looks so good. Perfect. All right, nice. Move this over now. So I'm gonna put the Dutch oven right up here. Again, I'm gonna protect my table with this cutting board. And we're gonna assemble. All right. Okay, so. First layer. First layer sauce. Listen to it, it's gonna sizzle. All right, nice. spread that out nice and thin. Will do. Okay, that's gonna keep the pasta from burning. So now we're gonna take our pastas. I get these, I like the ones that are no ready to cook, not so much because they've already been boiled, but because of the size, I like the shape. Okay. okay? So it's nice and easy to just lay these in the Dutch oven and get good, pretty good coverage. Doesn't have to be perfect, this is not rocket science. Okay. You sure make it look perfect though, John. Practice. Looks okay, good. so now we're gonna take some cheese and we're gonna throw our cheese down. Wow, this is heavy. We're gonna throw the cheese down on top. This is our mortar. Okay, and I basically do two layers of lasagna. So I'm gonna use roughly half. Set that aside. And carefully, you wanna kinda moosh this without moving all your noodles over. some good motion going on right now I'm wearing gloves part of it's because I know I'm gonna get messy I like to just get in here and just do what's got to be done the other thing is that meat is hot we didn't really give it any chance to cool because we're hungry we're impatient that's right so we'll moose this all up okay now it's like doing your hair you're gonna lather, rinse, repeat. So we're gonna lather. Okay. So we got the sauce down, layer of noodle, the cheese. Now we sprinkle in some nice of the pepperon. Oh, that stuff looks good. And we're gonna do about half of everything. So we're gonna do okay. half of that. We'll do half of our ground beef. Half our sausage. This is really hot, so I'm going to use the spoon. Let's just call this the foundation, okay? So, noodles. Noodles. Or sauce. 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 A little porridge. Porridge. Don't be afraid to go heavy with the sauce. Now, we're obviously using some jar sauce here. You can make your own. Do whatever you like. Good. That looks perfect. All right. I'll take the spoon. Just going to spread this out. So get good contact with those noodles. Okay. 
noodles. I'm gonna go the opposite direction this time. Really for no better reason than I can. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. I think it's more about the filling than it is the noodles. I'll take our cheese, cheese it up. You know, we got a lot of cheese left. This looks like the extra cheese layer. Very nice. nice even spread here. Thank you. Sausage. Sausage. Dump it right in. Just give this a nice spread. Sauce me. Saucing. Use half the sauce and we're gonna put a little bit on top. That looks great. Mm -hmm. All right, spread me out. Great. All right. Let's do our main noodles. Press. Okay, now sauce that. All right. Just gonna coat that up nice. And that's it. We're basically built. So. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our lid, we're gonna throw the lid on. We're gonna adjust our coals. We're not browning meat at this point, we're actually cooking now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ring this up. And as you can see, some of my coals are starting to die down. So we're gonna replenish that with some new. Get some fresh coals there. We're gonna spread these out now. Keep in mind, this is a table made for Dutch oven cooking. You're not going to want to do this on a plastic table. Um, you could do it on the ground. You could do it in your fire pit. Just, uh, you know, obviously don't melt anything. It won't be good. All right, Christopher, let's throw that pot on there. Oh, boy. It's heavy, right? What there do you think that go. is? Man, you got some serious tonnage in there, John. All right. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing on the top. We're going to ring this up. We're going to take all these coals, we're going to spread them around the perimeter here. This is how I get away from counting coals. I'm not going to count coals because the size of the perimeter is the size of the perimeter. And however many coals it takes to cover that, that's all you need. Perfect. Okay? About an hour, it's going to heat all the way through, it's going to be delicious. How many, uh, how many servings do you think you'll get out of this, John? Yeah, it depends on how hungry you are. I'm thinking 20 normal people. For us, maybe 15. 15 very satisfied people. So, 
All right, we're gonna come back when this is all bubbly and good, and we're gonna throw the cheese on, we're gonna brown the cheese, and then we're gonna show that off, and then we're gonna eat. About an hour. All right, thank you. See ya. All right, Chris, let's take a look at this. Let's see, it's been how long? Just about an hour here. Oh, look at that, bubbling brown. Ooh -wee. that thing looks good enough to eat right now, but I think it's time to add a little bit more cheese to this. Let's make it better. Let's make it better. So what do you think, John? You want to just use a little bit on top? No, nah, let's use it all. Use it all? I like that talk. Whoa. All right, so we got our mozz. We're going to spread this out. I don't want it to touch the lid, so I'm going to spread it nice and even. Chris, I don't think we have enough cheese. No? How about a little bit of this imported Parmesan? Give me a sprinkle. Whoop. Hold on out to that piece. Bust this up a little bit. How's that? That looks good. All right, so now we're in the woods. We don't have a broiler, but we have a Dutch oven lid. And we want to get that top nice and brown. So what's the next technique, John? You know, I'm just going to take this. It's hot like a jet engine right on top. Right on top. We'll just let it go for about 15 minutes, maybe not even. We'll check it periodically and we'll brown it up nice. And that's going to do the trick. That should do it. All right. All right. We'll see you in a minute. All right, Chris, it's been about an hour. Threw the cheese on. It's been about 15 minutes. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Off with the chimney. Off with the top. Oh, man. Oh. It's golden brown and delicious. Magnificent. That is great. Let's just take a second. Mm. Smell that. Sorry. <sighs> Smells great. So good. So good. You should be here. All right. We are the masters of grub, and this is... Grub Masters. Out of this world.